Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you the top 10 must have units in this brand new update 10 in anime adventures. All of the units I have mentioned in this video are all obtainable so make sure to try and get all of the units before it becomes unobtainable. I'm not gonna be taking your time so let's begin with the video everybody. Yahoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video, video, video. Also, thank you for 70k. You guys are crazy. The first unit I'm going to be mentioning is Puchi Heaven. This unit can be used as a support or a damage dealer. Especially, he have this ability at upgrade 9 called Time Acceleration. When activated, his ability cooldown and his allies' ability cooldown will be lowered by 50%. And this will last for 30 whole seconds which is very useful when defeating high HP bosses, which is insanely overpowered for a support unit to have. Pucci Heaven stats at max upgrade and max level is 49,064 damage with his ability cooldown at 3.4 seconds, making his damage per second 14,430.58, which is the best DPS unit, especially you can place 3 of Pucci, which making him the highest DPS support. If you're gonna be using him as a support, the best relic you can have on him is Mermaid Crown, or if you are gonna be using him as your main DPS, then the best relic on him him will be miracle time peace if you do want to learn on how to evolve him i recommend watching my videos of me evolving my poochie to poochie heaven which will be linked in the description also poochie heaven have one power type which is magic the next unit i'm gonna be mentioning is metal knight metal knight is a brand new heal unit that came into this update 10 which is amazing especially we barely have any heal and hybrid in this game so definitely owning metal knight arsenal in your loadout is gonna be insanely overpowered his stats at max upgrade and max level is 129,181 damage with his ability cooldown at 6.1 seconds making their damage per second at 21,291.96 do remember that metal knight arsenal can only be placed down two times so having unique on this unit is going to be insanely strong especially he's a summoner unit will do half metal knight's damage metal knight is also a multi-hit unit which will be really good against shield opponents an alternative unit you can go for in this update 10 is yono spirit since he is the best shield breaker unit and have one of the best damage per second and one of the best damage for a heal unit yono spirit is a multi-hit unit bring him in certain maps that have shield opponents he will perform very well against them. Yona Spirit stats at max level and max upgrade is 62,817.74 damage with his ability cooldown at 10 seconds making his damage per second sitting at 6,281.77 which is one of the best damage per second heal top unit for magic. Moving on to the next unit I'm going to be mentioning that is going to be a must have in this update 10 is Geo Over Heaven. With Geo Over Heaven being a hybrid unit is the best and insanely OP hybrid unit you can ever have in this update. The Over Heaven can only be spawned once although he is the most overpowered unit with his damage at 211,693 following his ability cooldown at 6.5 seconds making his damage per second at 32,568.23 damage. Sheesh! Dio gets a manual ability when spawning him especially when activating this ability called Time Stop. He'll be able to freeze the whole map for 20 seconds both ground and air opponents. The cooldown of this ability is 360 seconds and you can freeze the boss for 20 whole seconds which is insanely overpowered bruh. To get deal over heaven yourself is by opening the Christmas orbs where you spend your stars you farm from the portals or quests. Dio over heaven also have two types of powers the first one being magic and his secondary being light the next unit i'm gonna be mentioning in this top 10 must have in this update 10 is tatsumaki tornado you definitely would want this unit as a support especially for leaderboard runs tatsumaki stats at max upgrade and max level is 144,668 damage with her ability cooldown at 12.4 seconds making her damage per second 11,666.77 at upgrade 9 
Tatsumaki will be able to hit both air and ground opponents, making her good at late game. What makes Tatsumaki Tornado valuable in your team is that she will be able to knock back the enemy for 1.5 seconds, which she will be the new All Might and insanely overpowered for leaderboard runs, especially on how much damage she will already be doing, which is a good replacement for All Might. The next unit I'm going to be mentioning is Ice Queen. Ice Queen is still valuable in this update 10. Ice Queen stats at max upgrade and max level sits at 200,000 for 118.52 damage with her ability cooldown at 20 seconds. Making her damage per second sits at 10,020.93, which is at least one of the best damage per second unit in this update 10. Ice Queen can freeze ground opponents at upgrade 8 for 2 seconds, which is insanely good, especially on how much damage she is already doing and having a freeze in her kit makes her more strong. Do remember that Ice Queen is a limited unit you can get from the secret ice portal which she may cost a lot in the future so I highly suggest getting at least more than one and hope that her trading value will increase over time. The next unit that I'm gonna be mentioning is Lord Boron. This unit came into this update 10 along with the other units and he is the best out of all the units that came into this update. Especially, he is a limited secret unit so I highly suggest getting at least two of this unit. Lord Baron is a hybrid unit at upgrade 8 which is an amazing unit at late game since he will be able to turn into a hybrid. Sheesh! Having a Lord Boron unique will give him almost 1 million damage so i do suggest if you are a pay to win user is to get a unique trait on lord baron yeah lord boron stats at max upgrade and max level is 171,226 damage with his ability cooldown at 7 seconds making his damage per second 24,460.85 which is insanely overpower especially on how he can hit both air and ground opponents sheesh have you guys gotten Lord Boron yet? The next unit I'm gonna be mentioning in this top 10 must have units video is Izo Final. Why he is still a must have in this update 10 is that not a lot of units is actually be able to top this powerful unit. Aizen is at least one of the best multi hit unit making him one of the best shield breaker unit as well as with Aizen being one of the most highest damage and damage per second. ISO final stats at max upgrade and max level is 249,567 damage following his ability cooldown at 15 seconds making his damage per second at 16,637.8 which is one of the best damage per second unit out there in update 10. When you get Aizen final upgrade 9, he will be able to attack both ground and air opponents which as you progress on your infinite mode, depending on the map, you will be encountering a lot more flying opponents which Aizen will be able to help with that. Aizen final also have a manual ability called Kanzen Seimen. Once activated, the opponents will be pushed back and shielding your base. This ability is at least one of the most overpowered in the game as we speak. You'll definitely want him to be unique since he'll be useful in leaderboard runs. The next unit I'm gonna be mentioning is Akin Contract. What makes Aki Contract overpower than the units that I'm not mentioning in this video is that he has two manual ability. The first one being Cursed Devil Form, which in this form, Aki have a special ability called Curse Stack. It procs whenever Aki do a critical damage and if he procs it four times, the enemies will take 200% more damage as a true damage. This is especially good against units that have resistance which you commonly see in the difficult maps and portals. Aki contract is also a boss killer especially if you have a nail relic equipped on him that will make Aki insanely overpowered. Aki stats at max level and max upgrade is 115,000. 50.81 damage with his ability cooldown at 9 seconds making his damage per second 12,783.42. Aki contract have two power types, the first one being physical and the second one being dark. The next pair of units I'm going to be mentioning are going to be insanely overpowered, especially when paired. The first set of units I'm going to be mentioning is Angel and Sakura. These units together are definitely one of the best units to have, especially Sakura recently got buffed to heal the base. But at least two players need to bring Sakura 
since three sakura is not enough i only recommend using this strategy if you have a unique angel devil and if you don't have a unique angel devil then it is a pretty much l duo angel starts off as a ground unit although as you upgrade him he will be able to hit both ground and air making him a hybrid unit Wah! Angel Devil stats a max upgrade and max level is 191,444.55 damage with his ability cooldown at 7 seconds making his damage per second at 27,349.22. This is insanely overpowered especially if you have an Angel Unique as Angel Devil won't even drain your base health that much. Angel have two power types, the first one being magic and the second one being light. The next pair of units I'm gonna be mentioning that is overpowered in this update 10 is Chainsaw Hybrid plus Power Fiend. These duo are definitely one of the best to have in your team, especially Power Fiend's ability makes every single bleed do 5 times more the damage. So having at least a bleeding unit and you are set. Chainsaw Hybrid stats a max upgrade and max level is 64,612.54 with its ability cooldown at 8.5 seconds making his damage per second at 7,601.47 and his bleeding damage does half of his damage so I highly recommend getting him superior, nimble or divine which are the best traits you can have on him especially he is a multi hit too which lets him proc more of his bleeding. And Power Fiend stats a max upgrade and max level is 74,092.72 damage with her ability cooldown at 9 seconds making her damage per second 8,232.52 which is one of the best support damage per second out there currently in update 10. Power Fiend can be paired with any other bleeding units in the game, although the best one being paired is Chainsaw Hybrid and Secret Denji since they are the best bleeding units as of update 10. Thank you all so much for watching this top 10 must have units video. Oh my, that took me too long. I'm quite exhausted. I think I deserve a nap after this. So thank you all so much for watching till the end. You guys are amazing. Thank you again for 70,000 subscribers. You guys are insane. Um, what else? Yeah, thank you all so much. I don't know what else to say other than thank you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Make sure to take your take care of yourself. <laughs> That's crazy. Bye, 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 bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.